Okay, now we come to corruption. Okay. He says, our governments pay lip service to anti-corruption, but do little substantially to cure the canker. Which of the major corruption issues has been conclusively dealt with since the Fourth Republic began? There have been major corruption scandals, and none has been conclusively dealt with. I could give you a long list of unsolved corruption cases, but there is no need to, do, to bore you with something you are so familiar with. Okay, let's deal with this one as well. Here too, there are some gaps. There are a few gaps here. Uh, some Jonah KB talks about corruption and he says that uh, the canker of corruption, we all talk about corruption. Every political campaign has corruption in it. We have anti-corruption agencies. We have Yoko. We have serious fraud office. We have the courts now. We have a special prosecutor. We have been do dealing with corruption for a long time. But that's not even the point. Anti-corruption. He says that which of the major corruption issues have been conclusively dealt with? Whereas we may still be a society that is grappling with corruption, there is enough and abundant public record for some Jonas speech writers and researchers to have made reference to. We should have found expression in the narrative that there are corruption scandals that have never been dealt with. I'm not sure that is true. There may be corruption scandals that have never been dealt with, but he refuses to name any. Uh, the boldness didn't come. What do we expect of him? So next time Samjona comes to speak, uh, say, uh, uh, senior citizen Samjona KBE, please, next time you come to speak, be bolder and name names. You have to name names. But if you say here that there are, uh, I could give you a long list, you really have to give that long list because when you allege corruption, it's a major issue at your level where you speak, you're a global person. If you speak and say, I could give you long list, but I don't want to bore you, that's not really good enough. You have to say it. Bell the cat. Name the names. Shame them because you are the rocky fella. You are the one feeling that it's irresponsible for you not to speak for the concerns of the next generation. You are the untouchable. Yes, you are the untouchable. So you can speak. I may not be able to say journalist B, may not be able to say editor Y, may not be able to say lawyer W, may not be able to say, but Sam Jonah can say it and he should say it. So you should say it. But even before we get to you naming it, it's not also true that uh, corruption scandals have not been dealt with. Let's throw it in the Fourth Republic. Let's begin with Fly Lieutenant Rawlings, and we can talk about some corruption scandals over there. Okay, but let's come into President Kufo's administration. Have some journalist speechwriters forgotten that major court case that so heavily punctuated the society that was part of every conversation? The Quality Grain Trial. That was a major corruption scandal that was prosecuted. It should have found expression in this. Let's move on to President Mills. Has everyone forgotten or have his speechwriters forgotten that the Ghana at 50 matter was a major matter that punctuated conversations about corruption in this society and that there was a prosecution? First, there was a commission of inquiry and that there was a prosecution. Charles Reku, Broby, Akoto Ose, Asamoa Boatin, that they all walked off the prosecution successfully. Nobody should forget that. These two find expression in a statesman's speech. Let's move to President Mahama. Do we remember the Jida and all of those scandals? Have we forgotten that there was a prosecution? That was another conversation that punctuated our society. There was a prosecution. Have, where are they? The speech writers, they don't seem to be doing their research well. Maybe they were in a hurry, or maybe they're just simply lazy. I don't know them. But they should have been doing their work better than that. There was a prosecution. That was President Mahama's tenure. Let's look at Nana Akufado's tenure. There has been a prosecution. Hasn't there been a prosecution of something about NCA? Is there not another prosecution going on about Cocoa Board? So why will Sam Jonah say that which of the major corruption issues has been conclusively dealt with since the Fourth Republic began? That's such an empty statement that I don't, I don't think should find expression in such an important person's speech. Once again, the speech writers. I'm angry with them tonight. Then there have been major corruption scandals and none has been conclusively dealt with. You cannot make your boss, who is a very important person, make such a statement so sweeping without backing it with evidence. Those people who wrote this part of the speech, they must have questions to answer to their boss tomorrow. They shouldn't have done that.
That's not correct. There have been prosecutions. In almost every fourth Republican presidency, there has been prosecutions. So whilst we agree that there is corruption, and corruption is still a canker, all of those prosecutions should have found expression in this one. And then it builds the narrative in a comprehensive manner. So when the solutions come to be told, they are solutions that have been well thought out. This way, we're not going to get great solutions.